Tops gallant royal studs. Full sails. Wind's getting vicious. There, Captain. An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look for your spyglass and see for yourself. Pretty sight. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what hit them. Now's the time. Let's board her. Damn. Their gore spoils. Keep looking. I'm sure we can find another ship to board. This crew needs a practice. The time. Let's Show the watch forward, Captain. Come on, men. The spires are ours. For the more again. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the markets before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We'll spend our new wealth on improvements. Oh, I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandell is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye. Per se and fishing go hand in hand, but it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Let go, anchor! You'd better borrow some coin. Bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far.
What do you be needing today, then? My thanks for your trust, Captain. <laughs> Captain as the helm, we should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen straight into their waters. These cowards must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way to Antipasti. What say you? We sink every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Maybe he'll have the whole thing figured out for us. And yeah, maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar. Salt hair, hope in skies. A man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? There it is. Articusti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Mates. Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. 
You, sir, have our tanks. Out. Oh, it's a cold and dreary morning in this ember. Short sail! Get off the squall! We are on course for a collision, sir! I swear I can't Hold down a clue up! Down Let Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Captain, 
Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. There. Aye. There she is! All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the art? Aye. There she is! All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Give me... Blockade, Captain! I just won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package and find Washington. the yards off the wind! Sub blockade. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die. Aye.
What's this? A rifle. You there! Stay! Where you are. How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Expecting trouble tonight. I don't know. Security is awfully tight. The captain brought in more men. Yeah. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts.
Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen? <coughs> My brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <coughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you. For revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. God damn it! I'd better hurry. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. That's a shit mortar! That's not sported!
Lawrence Washington is dead. He looked disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. Two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. Oh. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Get the maid sent it Fire! The chasseur has a lead on the box. We need him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what did he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to... Project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strained language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that... Give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the recursion box. Loose and cuts the wind! Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. 
The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends.